Hello, this is uh, Dskill88, and I'm going to show you five cool tricks to speed up your computer just a little bit. Might not be a whole bunch, it might be a whole bunch. I don't know, depends on your computer. But, I am a Vista user, so all you Vista users out there, this will work for you. If you are an XP user, you might find some of the things a little confusing, or you don't have them. But anyways, first things first, the gadgets. Those little annoying things that live on the side here. Well, they eat up a lot of resources, so you can get rid of them if you truly please. It will speed up your computer a little bit. So, go over to your start menu. Start. Type in sidebar. And go to sidebar properties. Get rid of start sidebar when window starts. Just uncheck it. Like, just apply and okay that's the first thing second thing is a cool little folder called prefetch p pre fetch up at the top here it is it will want it will want uh, uh you will say you can't get into this folder you need to press continue do so now there i have a couple but in some computers there may be over 200 and they're pretty much cookies that save to keep your computer going faster but if there are too many it will slow down your computer so all you do is get rid of them and they pop up all the time so if you get rid of them a couple more show up don't worry do this you should do this about once a week once a month at the most and it will it will free up a lot okay so when you're done close that off third thing uh... you probably might this already but i will show it to you anyway go to your start menu type in ms con fig and all the way at the top there is one item click it click continue And here we go. You can go to services. These are services that run while your computer's running. If they say running, they're running right at this moment. If they're stopped, they're not running. Anything that you know that you don't want running when your computer's running, unless you manually start it, unclick. I don't use Bluetooth. And this X audio service parental controls, if you're that's your own you're the only one who uses the computer unclick it um you can unclick a whole bunch of them you just have to make sure you know what they are to know what they are go to your start menu services and, and right here just click that and you will go through what each, each service does it doesn't tell you and you really aren't sure don't unclick it uh so yeah, I don't have a lot unclicked here because my computer runs pretty fast anyways. But you can also go into Startup. These are the programs that run when you start it up. So you can unclick anything. Look, uh, Nero won't run when I start it up. It will run if I click it. Yahoo Messenger, all that stuff, okay? Click Apply, then click OK. And it will tell you to restart your computer. Do so right away. Or if you want to do it later, do it later. Anyways, third thing is the arrow effects. Sure, they're pretty. Sure, they're awesome. But too many of them enabled can slow down your computer if it's an old computer. If it's a new one, it would be okay. But whatever. If you don't like some of the things, it's cool. Go to Tools. And you want to go to Performance, Information, and Tools. And go to adjust visual effects. Click that. And there's a whole list of stuff. All with an arrow and all that. You can either click let what let Windows choose, which is doesn't really choose very well. Adjust for best performance, so that's all of them. Or appearance, 
sorry, best, best performance, which will unclick them all, it looks kind of ugly, or you can go custom, and two, I don't want to animate windows when minimizing and maximizing, I want to get rid of the transparent glass, so I don't see the point of it, get rid of shadow, shadows are dumb, I don't see, there you go, get rid of the translucence, just get rid of some of them, it will speed up your computer a little bit, click OK, exit out, the last thing that you can do to speed up your computer is a disk cleanup. Now, your computer usually comes with disk cleanup, but it's only a basic one. You can go to www.ccleaner.com, uh, click that, and this is a disk cleanup, but it's a little bit more enhanced. And it runs on Windows Vista, yes. It also runs on XP. It runs on all those. And it uploads er, new ones all the time coming out. There's a whole bunch of them. And it cleans the following. Your internet files, like temporary files and such, that eat up space. Uh, it works with Firefox, Opera. When it cleans up Windows Recycle Bin, recent documents, temporary files. And it's a registry cleaner, which is pretty cool. Third-party applications. And it is 100% spyware free. No, no spyware, no adware, no viruses. Believe me, it's not. And it is free, so click download CC Cleaner now. And you can donate with PayPal, or you can be cheap like me and don't. Go to alternative download. Here it is. And, and it should be up here, blah blah blah. Right click download file. I already have it download, so I don't need to do that. And it will show up. You can type it in. And it's here. Or you can make a nice uh, for it. And we'll delete all the stuff. You should do a disk cleanup every once a week or so. It should be. Okay, so you can do all that, and if you want advanced, you can delete delete your prefetch from here, and all this stuff, or you can do it manually, like I like to do. So you write, you click Analyze, and Run Cleaner. All right, simple as that. Okay, so that's about it for now. There could be a couple more things you find that you can do to, or to make your Vista run a bit faster, but those are the things I have found useful. Alright, this has been Eskull88 and I hope you enjoyed my vid.